In this video, we are going to look at coding diagnoses from Chapter 7, Diseases of the Eye and Adnexa, codes H00 to H59, and Chapter 8, Diseases of the Ear and Mastoid Process, codes H60 to H95. Remember that every chapter has a section for the chapter-specific coding guidelines in the very front of the tabular. So as we can see, chapter eight does not have any specific coding guidelines for that chapter. Chapter seven does have a few, about a page. We have coding guidelines for glaucoma, the stage with bilateral glaucoma, and then blindness. These chapters are pretty small if we think about the pages of codes. So we can see chapter eight, diseases of the ear, has about 10 pages of codes, and chapter seven, diseases of the eye, has quite a bit more at 35 or so. But still, relatively small chapters compared to some other chapters in our ICD-10-CM coding manual, so they're pretty straightforward. Like always, we utilize our alphabetical index, which is at the front of our ICD-10-CM coding manual behind the official coding guidelines. We always look up our code in the index first, then we verify in the tabular. So, our first scenario, we have a 54-year-old male who is coming in today. He has Meniere's disease in his left ear. So find the code, pause the video while you're looking. Once you have the code, unpause the video and see if you have the correct answer. Again, Meniere's disease of the left ear. So the correct answer would be H81.02, Meniere's disease, left ear. And to look that up, we go to our alphabetical index. And we're going to go to M, to Meniere's, Meniere's disease syndrome or vertigo, H81.0. We can see the hyphen there telling us we need an additional character. So we know once we flipped back there that we picked our two for the left ear. But just in case, you always want to double check, right? You can never code solely from the alphabetical index. We always verify in the tabular. So the fifth character that it's asking us for, we picked two for the left ear. Okay, so our next scenario, we are coding a 14 day old infant who is being seen for an infantile cataract of her right eye. Infantile cataract of her right eye. So pause the video, find the code, and then unpause when you think you have the correct answer. So our correct answer is H26.001, unspecified infantile and juvenile cataract of the right eye. So to locate this code in your alphabetical index, you should have went to C to cataract. And then once we get to cataract, we want to show what kind. So under cataract, we go down to infantile, and it tells us C cataract pre-senile. So then we go down to pre-senile, and it gives us code H26.00 with the hyphen and the check mark letting us know we need an additional character. So again, once we get to our tabular at the H26.00, we pick our additional character to denote the eye that's impacted. So H26.00. And then we're picking the one, 
because it was the right eye. Okay, one more scenario. We have a 44-year-old male seen today for impacted cerumen of his left ear. So find the code, unpause the video when you think you have it, and compare your answers. Again, impacted cerumen of the left ear. So the correct answer is H61.22, impacted cerumen left ear. And to look that up in our alphabetical index, we're going to go to C, to cerumen. Right here, cerumen, and it tells us accumulation impacted H61.2, again, there's our hyphen or our dash and our character notation to let us know an additional character is needed. So again, we flip back to the tabular. That's where you get your additional characters. So H61.2. And because it was our left ear, we're picking two for the fifth character. So we have H61.22 impacted serum in left ear.